And children often pick up what their parents say. Sometimes that includes some bad language. What can be done when their swearing begins at a very early age? You are watching Fox 4 News, first at 9. Curse words, like it or not, are part of many people's vocabulary, and oftentimes what parents say, their children will also say, especially the youngsters. Fox 4's Laurie Berger live tonight in Fort Worth with more on how parents can cut down on the problem. Laurie. Well, believe it or not, parents don't like to admit that their kids might have gotten it at home, but whether they get it there or at school or from the media, chances are almost every parent hears it at some point. But how long that cussing lasts can actually depend upon how you handle it. Monkey! <laughs> You'd expect squeals and giggles out of Isabella Blocker, but her mom says her five-year-old once shocked her with something she said. We were upstairs and the dogs were barking downstairs and she yelled, shut the hell up. Child psychologist Dr. Wanda Johnson says little kids cussing is not that uncommon. It's amazing how they'll pick those words out of other words and they will say them. They try it out on the adults. It's like they know it's wrong. Teenagers do too, and apparently they use foul language to look tough and be cool. You can't walk through the hallways without hearing someone say something like that. It's everywhere in the high school. The peer pressure is so big, even starting in elementary school, and it's not, because kids just want to fit in. What's kids' favorite, favorite word, do you think? Probably the F word. <laughs> it, they just go around saying it just so people can hear them. One look or listen to Davis Laker, and you know that he does his own thing. His parents don't allow cussing at home, but like many teens, they speak a different language with their friends. The D word? Yes. The S word? Yes. The H word? Yes. The F word? Yes. Dr. Johnson says the best success comes when you start young, impress family values, and teach kids to use a wider vocabulary. Something Dan Turner says he's emphasized with his two boys. Polite is nice. Well, usually in place of using um, what you'd consider offensive words, we usually start talking loudly or yell. Yeah, yelling. That, that's a good plan. Well, how you treat it depends upon the age of the child. Dr. Johnson says with little kids, don't overreact, don't freak out. Best to be calm, because if they figure out that it upsets you, chances are they'll, they'll just do it to push your buttons. For teenagers, if the talking to doesn't work, she suggests short intervals of discipline, like taking the cell phone away or the car away for a day, not longer, because you still want them to come and talk to you. We are live in Fort Worth. Larry Barriger, Fox 4 News.